All right, everyone, the biggest story of the day, warmonger Joe Biden strikes again. This is the second time that he's done this, and he, he hasn't even, I mean, he's only been, he's only been in there six months, and he's, look, let me show you this. He bombed these people in in February. Biden orders airstrikes in Syria. I remember that when he bombed them. I was like, wow, he was, I mean, he had just got in office January the 20th. He had already started dropping bombs. Now, this is today, January, this is June the 27th. He's bombing again, more airstrikes, right? Now, and I want to show you, I want to show you this, right? The biggest story that's going on right now. Look, what, look, look, look at this. Look at this. This is what the Young Turks, this is what they're covering. Trump has Kevin McCarthy freaked out. Capitol rioters claim insane court defense. Guys, Trump's been gone six months in this. Guys, this this is who's supposed to be leading the progressives? Progre they don't they don't even understand what progressive means. Progressives are people who are fighting for social injustice. Reform. They they have no understanding of that. And they keep saying, oh John, J Jimmy Dore's not a, Jimmy Dore's out there putting his life on the line fighting for people who the whole United States government is against. Julian Assange. The whole government is against this guy and, and, and Jimmy Dore standing up for and look at look at what they're talking about. McCarthy and Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a joke and he's been gone for six months. And that's what they're talking about. Look look at what the people are saying. Look. People are mad. They're saying it's illegal under international law what we're doing. You know, they're saying Syria has never attacked us before. They, they've never attacked the United States. You know, and, and, and they like, and they clearly didn't invite, uh, Biden to carry out military activity on his territory. We go to other people's company, country, we, we bomb them, and then we say, hey, they're wrong. This is crazy. And these, this is the stuff that, um, oh, look, um, look at, didn't you hear about the, the total destruction of Libya? Libya was, was, was one of the, um, it was one one of a success story over over um it was a success state after we left it's a slave state they're enslaving people it's, it's it's total chaos you know here's somebody else talking about libya everywhere we go we do regime change we destroy countries and and we just leave them in, in, and right now syria can't get medic the medic the medicine that they need because we we're putting sanctions on them and 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 people are like saying he's supposed to be the biggest progressive voice and he's over there talking about donald trump and mccarthy and i'm, I'm, I'm gonna show y'all a clip of how stupid this idiot is all right now someone was talking about i can't remember where it was at but someone in here was saying that uh that raytheon is is running um is running the uh running the white house and this guy here now this guy he was on the board of raytheon he, he's ex-military right donald trump I mean, um, Joe Biden has this guy over the Pentagon. So Joe Biden figures, hey, I don't want to seem like a racist. So I'll, put, I'll get a black guy and let him drop the bombs on these people over, on these poor people in Syria. He's going to drop the bombs on these people. You know, so this is part of uh, Joe Biden's diversity program. He's got an ex-CIA torturer that's run. Uh, she's a woman. She's a woman. But she's known to be a torture expert under George Bush. But hey, she's the first woman. Now he's got oh he's he's the first black he's the first black man to go drop bombs and work over the Pentagon. Now this guy, when you retire from the military, you're supposed to be gone for seven years before you can get these types of jobs. Biden pushed him through in four years, so so he's already put in there in a way that he wasn't supposed to. Supposed to be seven, he put him in, in four. All right. They got a waiver for him. I don't know wh wh why he was so important that he had to be the, I mean, Biden could have got anybody to drop bombs, but I guess, I guess he wanted to get a black guy, you know. Just like he's got a gay guy, uh, Pete Buttigieg, who's one of the worst human beings on earth. I mean, he used to work at McKinsey, one of the worst companies that, I mean, they're, they're part of all of this, uh, corruption that goes on in the world, McKinsey. A, they're supposed to be a consulting firm, but really they're just high-level crooks and criminals and warmongers and everything that's disgusting in this world. And that's what Booty just was working at. Okay, now, um, now I want you, I want you guys listen, listen while the world is on fire, blowing up. Look, listen, listen to these fake, listen to these fake progressives. Listen to this. I want you just listen. Let's just listen. Look how idiot. This is they're making jokes right now while the world's blowing up. 
That's... Look at this little snippet. All right, Leader McCarthy could be Speaker McCarthy. It might be Speaker Trump. We'll have to find out. Uh, nice to see you, Kevin. <laughs> have a great weekend. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll find out. No, this see, this is a real laugh. <laughs> His was a fake laugh. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I loved about the first clip, Jake, is how he immediately wanted to deflect to like an issue that has like nothing to do with the question that was asked. Like, oh, they're trying to make Washington D.C. a Puerto Rico state. <laughs> Let's talk about anything other than this. No, I, I love this for so many reasons. First, now I'm obsessed with Kevin McCarthy clips because <laughs> now that we figured out he's Mickey Doyle from Boardwalk Empire, <laughs> right? I can't get the guy out of my head. Hey, well, I'll tell hey. you something else, okay? Uh, I don't mind. I don't want to be speaker of the house. I'll do anything for him. <laughs> no, that was Anna saying she'd rather. He would, they, she's saying McCarthy would rather talk about anything but whatever the hell, whatever going on. But the truth is, TYT, the Young Turks, they would rather talk about Trump and McCarthy before they talk about the warmongering that we have in the White House. You see how they, they I mean, they're distracting people. The, I mean, this, look, this thing with, uh, with, with Syria, this was trending. This wasn't just something that I just randomly found. I was I was just scrolling through Twitter. This was actually trending, and it was trending in three different areas. It had Syria bomb. It had uh, something else. Uh, let me. See. Uh, well, it's changed now. But at the time, this this was trending. And instead of them, now normally, I mean, you would want to catch the story that's trending. Nope, not them. They're talking about Trump from six months ago. The uh, running cover for the corporate Democrat warmongering establishment. These guys, they're not progressives. They're running cover for these for the corruption. Both parties are equally corrupt because the Republicans, you best believe, they agree with this kind of stuff. They they, they try to act like they don't get along with Republicans and Democrats, but when it comes to dropping bombs, believe me, they get along. When it comes to looking out for their for the, for their wealthy donors, believe me, the Democrats and the Republicans they both get along because Joe Biden's promise, oh, I'm going to I'm going to start taxing the corporations and the wealthy. And he said, ah, not, not as an article saying, oh, well, I, I, I don't think I'm going to do it. I, I'm not going to I'm not going to um, I'm not going to put those taxes. I mean, he's, he's uh, 15 dollars an hour. Well, I can't do that. But he can give he can give Elon Musk 10, 10 billion dollars to go to the moon. 10 billion, 10 billion dollars. But he at 15 dollars. No. Healthcare, no. He said he was going to uh, student debt. He said he first. I mean, he first he was supposed to do something. Now he's not even trying to wipe a dollar off. At first, they were, you know, Democrats were like wipe it all off, take all of the death off. Then it was like, well, well, if you can't take it all. Take fifty thousand off. Well, if you can't take fifty thousand, take ten thousand. Now it's like now they're not even talking about it now. This guy. Joe Biden has been a Republican right winger his whole entire career. This guy, him, and Hillary Clinton have always been right winger uh, warmongers. They were they, they, these are the guys that voted for outsourcing jobs to um to um other countries so they could get so they could really destroy this country. These guys, these, the Democrats are just as evil and wicked as the Republicans. And if you think that that, that they have your back, how, how's the guy that outsourced all our jobs? How is he supposed to be the jobs that's supposed to create jobs to bring America back? The only thing Joe Biden, the only thing Joe Biden knows how to do very, very well is put people in prison with his 94 Crime Act, with his crime bill that still has nonviolent offenders in prison. He's got nonviolent offenders in prison. They've been in there since the 90s, over 20 years. And a guy, a police officer, murdered a man on national TV in front of the whole world, and he got 22 years. How does that make sense? What? And, and Joe Biden said, well, that seems fair to me. But Joe Biden, you have people in there for nonviolent crimes. A grown man walks up to another human being and says, here, take my money. I want to do drugs. Whatever. That's your business. I don't care. If you, that's how you want to spend your money, spend your money like that. But if you go out and you, and you rob somebody to feed your drug habit, well, that's that should be a crime. But if you want to take your money, and you want to go give it to some, that, that shouldn't even be a crime. That's, that's just stupidity. That's what that really is, a stupidity. If you want to, that's what you want to do with your money. But it, but if you go and hurt somebody else, yeah. But Joe Biden is putting people, grown, he's putting people in jail for nonviolent crimes because they want to be idiots and spend their money on drugs. But yet somebody murders someone on TV and he's like, oh, well, 22 years seems fair to me. 
these people, man, they're, 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 this is, this is a, this is a, a silly, silly country we're living in. But, like I said, this is, this is what T1, and look, they had an the opportunity to follow up and do another video. They come back with Capital Riot the claims insane court defense. That's what they come back with. After they screwed up, they didn't cover it this time. They come right back with more foolishness. And this is, this is, this is who we have. This is, this is supposed to be progressives fighting for social change, fighting for minimum wage, fighting. These people are jokes, man. They are paid to be quiet and to keep you distracted with foolishness like this. That's what they do. They're paid opposition. They're the biggest mouthpiece that's supposed to be with progressives. Five million subscribers, and this is the crap they're putting out while we're over there dropping bombs. I, I mean, how can you not cover this? This was trending under three different categories. It was trending. Guys, stop! Stop! So if you're giving if you giving those guys your money, please stop. Please stop. Uh, I'm I'm independent, and I'm not even asking you for money. I don't. I could care less if any. I have a uh, buy me a coffee. I think it's like a buck, but I don't even care because I don't. I don't even do this for money. I I could care less about that. I want to get these fake, fake, wanted these fake Republican, fake, I mean, no, real Republican, fake progressives out of there. And guys, as always, stay up.